and there is the breeze, somewhere around 12 to 15 miles an hour at the moment. So let's get straight to it, and it's been a, a splendid start for Rolf Munz, and it might be about to get better. What a golden opportunity that was for Rolf Munz. Golden opportunity. So just a par for, for Rolf. En Rolf Munz, dat is gewoon de man waar het, ja, het mee begon, zeg maar. De generatie die nu succes heeft. Dat begon allemaal met die man die hier bovenaan staat. Rolf Munz isn't finding any difficulties out there. This is tee shot at 15. Two par threes in the space of the last four. And he's very safely on the green there. But the wind is picking up. Kijk, daar is hij. Moest zich kwalificeren. Inmiddels is hij niet meer uh, automatisch verzekerd van een startbewijs. Ging naar het Rijk van Nijmegen. Kwalificeerde zich daar. Rolf Munz. Ja, voorlopig een KLM open zonder hem. Kan niet. Maar hij is lekker bezig, zeg. Het is toch niet te geloven. Typisch Rolf Munz. Dan hoor je een jaar niks van die man. En dan ineens staat hij hartstikke goed te spelen. Rolf Munz is a, an amazing player. He disappears for a couple of seasons and he comes back and it never seems to affect him. This is only his fifth event all year. So the approach of Rolf Munz over at the 16th. See if he can push himself to six under. He certainly can. He's got his eye in this morning. No doubt about that. And a couple of pars will see him round in 64. Quite some start for Rolf Munz. Rolf Munz at the 17th. Another good par three, this one. 170 on the card it plays. And the pin today, 12 on five from the right. Bunkers down the right hand side. Don't want to go in those. And it's Rolf Munz's. Well, I wouldn't say hoiked it to the left, but left side of the green. Moving nicely. One hole left to play for months. Be a great start. Part of the last be around at 64. That'll be nice. Awkward stance here. He's on the upslope. Another hole that's straight back into the breeze. Another club, certainly one that was perhaps longer than the one he had in his hands. Danger here is losing your balance. You keep your centre of balance and drive the ball forward. Well, maybe he had the, the right club in his hands first time round. We'll never know, but that was bang on line. To the 18th and Rolf Munz. Couple of putts here for a round of 64. Lovely putt from Rolf Munz. If he'd have knocked that one in, give him a course record if they weren't having placing. But they've got placing today, so unfortunately it doesn't count. Still counts as a 64 if he rolls that one in, which I'm pretty sure he will. And the weather doesn't look so bad on this 18th here. It's quite sheltered down in a little bowl, the green. There's stands and the clubhouse behind it, so it's, it doesn't quite take the, uh, the effects of the weather as badly in this position on the course. I think that's a, a wonderful achievement, Richard, when you're, you're not playing regularly. It's very difficult to get straight back into the pace of tournament play. No problem for months. That's an excellent start for the Dutchman. And around a 64. And look at that, not one bogey on the card. Just the six birdies. That really is a fine performance. And back in 30 as well. Only five at that very difficult seventh hole. Very impressive play. Rolf Muns is terug. En terug wordt gespeld met hoofdletters. Well, I think it's fair to say that uh, you've been quiet of late in golfing terms, given what we've known of you in the past on, on the main tour. But where did a round like that come from? 
Well, for me, it's not a big surprise. It's a nice surprise that it, it comes together, that the score is low and it's on the card and it's in a nice tournament. Of course, at home, what else can you hope for? To me, it's been knocking on the door. I've, yes, I've been quiet of late. I haven't been on tour for a couple of years. I've been overseas, been in America, trying to sharpen my game, and um, it seems to work. Before we talk a bit your run, tell us about what you have been doing. You said America. What's been happening over there? I played a bit on the Canadian tour as Europe. They start out of Europe, so they start in America where it's nice and warm in Mexico. So I played four events on the Canadian tour um, just to keep sharp and um, receiving some invitations on the Challenge Tour. So I came back home and uh, played a few events there, played myself into the KLM Open and uh, here I am. So first start, good start. I'm sure you thought you were coming back in August to some nice weather, but it seemed to suit you today. In fact, did you get a break in the weather, maybe starting early? Our front nine was pretty good, it was pretty benign. Um, but then it picked up, we had a couple of good showers, and uh, yeah, now the way it is, it is the way it is at the moment. It's, it's a bit rough. Well, it's, you know, obviously you're staying in the moment. You, it would be lovely if you can contend in, in the Dutch Open, uh, but you're actually working towards something just as important at the end of the year. Exactly, I haven't got any status at the moment, so uh, if you can do this week, great, but it's not really what we're, um, we're counting on right now. If it comes along, fantastic. But we're preparing for the tour school at the end of the year, the European tour school, and um, that's where I want to regain my card and playing status. Well, it's a good start to the week for you here and a good start to that campaign towards the tour school. So I hope it all goes well and maybe a win will save you that trip to the tour school. Well, one ball, one shot at a time, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much. Terrific, thanks. Okay, cheers. See you. You certainly got off to a great start, a round of 64. There were 46 players under par at one stage. There are now just 36. The wind is beating the best. And there is he weer, Rolf Muntz. Yeah, there is he weer. Leuk, hè? Hoe gaat het, man? Wat een geweldige ronde. Of heb je geluk gehad met het weer? Nou, natuurlijk. Ik heb alle geluk van de wereld. Alles zit mee en het heeft helemaal niet aan mij gelegen. <laughs> Geweldig, hè? Nee, nee, het ging super. Ik heb uh, ontzettend hard gewerkt de laatste tijd. Uh, vooral uh, proberen te hameren op mijn statistieken. En uh, die waren vandaag erg goed. En dan, uh, dan hol je een paar puts en dan, uh, dan gaat het lekker. En dan, uh, dan krijg je veel vertrouwen. Die indruk had ik wel, wat ik gezien heb uh, op de beelden. De puts vielen wel. Ja, dan lag ik ook in de positie waar ik de puts kon maken. Dus dat, uh, ja, dat zit dan allemaal een beetje mee misschien. Um, ik heb één echte misslag en dan kwam ik goed weg met een paar. Door een goede recovery en een echte goede put. Daar was ik heel erg blij mee. Het is echt zo'n momentum stelen. Dus die, die wil je blijven houden. Maar ja, waar ben ik geweest? Het is even stil, maar uh, ik ben er nog hoor. Je bent nu gewoon clubhouse leader. Erg gaaf. Ja, daar overkom ik niet vaak. Dat is uh, ja, heel gaaf. Um, ik ben erg blij. Ik, uh, ja, ik ben gewoon trots op mezelf vandaag. Heerlijk. We gaan je volgen, want uh, morgen een steady rondje. Je zit gewoon erbij in het weekend. Dat is wel te hopen. Het is, uh, het is zaak natuurlijk. Eerst een bal met verwe en dan uh, hoofd koel houden. En het is nu, je krijgt allemaal mooie dromen. Maar dat, uh, dat kunnen we even, <laughs> moeten we naar zondag hopelijk verschuiven. En uh, eerst maar eens doen wat er gedaan moet worden. En dan scoren. Geniet voorlopig van je dromen. Dankjewel. Doen we. Dank je.